Hello and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here with Oak and Lamb. Today I want to talk to you about how to create a graphic with knockout text. Now there are a couple of different ways to do this, but I'm going to show you my favorite way and Cricut Design Space has made this a whole lot easier for you all with the addition of the offset feature in Design Space. So I'm going to use the offset feature to show you how easy it is to manipulate cut files and create really great graphics. Let's jump over into Design Space and I'll show you the file that we're using and how to manipulate it. This is an Oak and Lamb file that we're going to be using today and I'm going to manipulate it a little bit. However, you could just insert a text box, insert whatever text you want and do the same thing. What I'm going to do first is slice out this B because I want to move it. So I'm going to grab a basic shape over on the left hand side and then we'll cover the B. I'll unlock this size lock ratio and make sure that the little antennas up at the top are covered. And then I'm going to select both of the layers and press slice in the bottom right hand corner. Now I can delete the slice results that I don't need. I don't need this and I don't need this. Now the other thing that I want to do is get rid of this part that says queen. I don't really need it either. So again, I'm going to slice by grabbing another basic shape, cover up, all of the part that says B, and then I'll select these two layers. Now you can only slice with two layers at a time. So if you're trying to slice with more than two and it doesn't work for you, that's why. So I have these two layers selected. I'll press slice. And then again, I'll delete the slice results that I don't need. So I don't need this piece, which is this one right here. I don't need this extra layer. And then now I don't need this. So I'll go ahead and delete that. What I want to do is bring this up here just size it down and make it a little slanted. And then I'm going to place it right here in my B and kind of make it part of the word B. Now I'm going to select both of these layers and weld it together. Now this is where it will be similar if you're creating a knockout graphic with your text. Say for instance, let me show you really quickly. I just grab a text box and type in the word B. When I ungroup this, there are several layers here and I'm going to need to make sure that it's all one layer by pressing weld so that I can slice out another word from it. So that's why I welded all of this together and that's what you would do if you were also just adding a text box. Hopefully that's clear. Let us know if you have any questions about that specific step in the comments below. Now what I want to do, this is the knockout portion, is grab another text box and I'm going to type in the word queen. When you do a knockout text like this, you want to use a base text that is pretty thick like this. The reason that you want a thick text is so that when you pull in another word or text up here, there's plenty of text left. There's plenty of graphic left once you slice out what you're knocking out. That will make sense in just a second. Now you can do knockout text a couple of different ways. You can put your text right in the center like this, and then we would knock it out in the same fashion that I'm getting ready to show you. Or I like to kind of move it down to the bottom just a little bit, a little bit of an overlap. Now I'm a graphic designer too, and so this is one thing that I do a whole lot in Illustrator, but like I said, with the offset feature, you're able to do it in design space. So I'm really impressed that, design, that Cricut finally um, implemented and added this feature for you all. It really makes designing really quick and easy. So with this word selected, I'm gonna go ahead and weld it together. And then I'll come up and press offset. I'm just gonna create a very small offset. I can drag the slider as big or as small as I want it, but I do want it pretty close. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to preview. And then if I knew exactly what dimensions I wanted my offset, I could also click this right here and insert a specific measurement. Okay, I've decided that 0 0.03 inches is a great look for this. So I'll go ahead and press apply. And then with that offset that I just created selected in this first layer that I welded together selected, 
So I've just held in my shift button on my keyboard and clicked both of the layers. Now I can press slice in the bottom right hand corner and then I can delete these slice results that I no longer need. Now let's go ahead and change the color of this to something a little different so that it's easier to see. So now you can see the good contrast between these two and what a cool graphic this creates. Now, one thing that I do wanna point out, and I've seen it since I've done this, is you wanna be careful about where you place things like this. This sort of looks like it says B queen now instead of queen B. So maybe what I would have wanted to do is bring it to the top or do it straight in the middle. But I did just wanna show you some different ways to do the knockout. And that's what I achieved. I hope you enjoyed this super fun design tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy other design videos, check out our video on how to slice letters from photos. Also, we have a member only video. If you are an Oak and Land member, check out how to fill fonts in design space. It's a great video. If you're wanting to become an Oak and Land member and don't know how, click the link below. We have some amazing opportunities for you as an Oak and Lamb member. You get access to our entire library of cut files along with a free commercial use license, member only content, access to our private Facebook group that gives you a community of crafters with endless inspiration and support for troubleshooting issues that you might have while you're crafting. We love our community of crafters here at Oak and Lamb, and we offer our members two options for payment for their membership. We offer our members monthly payment options and a yearly payment option, but give them the same perks for both tiers. If you're wanting to try out Oak and Lamb because you're not sure if it's a good fit for you, the monthly option is a great option. You can cancel that membership at any point and not have to pay a cancellation fee. However, if you wanna dive in and get the most for your money because you know that Oak and Lamb is a great fit for you, then use our annual payment option, which gives you a great discount. Let us know if you have any questions by commenting below or email us hello at oakandlam.com. We would be glad to answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you here another day for another video.